My name is Sean Moffitt. I'm the electrical manager here at Cambridge Elevating. And today I'm going to do a short talk on basic electrical theory with the hope that it'll give you the, the grounding to understand electrical drawings in some of our uh, circuits later on. I'm going to start with the simplest of circuits. We have a, a DC electrical circuit, so we have a positive and minus like a battery. We're going to start with the positive and it's it's going to go through a contact. Now a contact can be drawn different ways. Sometimes a contact can be drawn like this. Whenever you're dealing with, with drawings, whether it's electrical, plumbing, etc., there's always symbols that everybody kind of agrees or understands what they mean. I'll show you some of the basics during this video for electrical circuits. This is commonly for a contact. It's supposed to show two electrical plates which could touch. Uh, today we're going to use a different one that's a little easier to understand and that is like an actual switch so we have a, a point, an arm, another point and if you think of electricity going down this is a wire it's going to, when this closes, comes down, it will continue to flow so this is a switch which will close and then we need a load such as a light bulb so we're going to use a DC light bulb. Now DC, you can always think of batteries, uh, car battery, cars, they're all DC pretty much. Uh, AC is usually what a house runs on. It's what's in the plug that goes up through your light switch. So DC we're going to think of, it's like a flashlight. What we have here is just a switch that turns on a light. The lights can be uh, drawn different ways. Usually they're a circle, obviously. But it could be done like this, showing like a sun, or it could be squiggly rays, like this on one side. Again, the symbols may change, but they're usually fairly universal, or at least consistent throughout a company's set of drawings, or through a particular draftsperson. So here we have positive, going through a switch, to a light bulb, and then it's going to go to negative, negative of the battery. I won't bother showing the battery in this case. So you can see starting from left to right, where your electricity is going to go through a switch, light up light bulb. Uh, that's the simplest electronic circuits get. Uh, from there, we go to two switches. Now, two switches can be done in two different ways. That's what makes it a little more complicated. So if we think we could have a switch, again, similar to what we had before, then we could have go directly to another switch. Now what we have is uh, an AND circuit, sort of. It's when positive power is going to come down here, and if both of these switches are closed, this switch and this switch are both closed, then we'll light the light bulb. Uh, if only one closes, we won't. So this is the next step up in electrical circuits is two switches controlling a light bulb. The next other way we could do two switches would be called in parallel. Now that was that was in series, sorry, that was two series contacts, a term you'll commonly hear. Two parallel contacts means that the two switches are like or. It's either it goes through one or it goes through the other. So this is two switches drawn as OR, so if the power go, can either go through this switch and light the light bulb, or it can go through this switch and light the light bulb. So the first was two, both switches had to close, this way either switch has to close. Now, I'll just show the other circuit that we started with. So here's the first one, this is OR, so both of these switches are in series, they need to both close to light the light bulb, and here we have AND, either switch could close to light the light bulb. Some practical ideas here are this is like safety circuit in an elevator. If you think of e-stops or emergency switches, uh, if any one of the switches opens, the lift won't run. So these switches all would need to be closed in order for there to be an operating elevator. Uh, 
So that's a practical example. In this case, we could have uh, two, either of these switches. So this could be uh, if there was two buttons on a, a call st two different call stations, one on the left side of the elevator, one on the right side of the elevator in the hallway. Either one. So you push either one, and they'll place a call. Uh, so this would be one button would create a call for the first floor, probably turn on a relay, which I'll explain later. And this would be another button on the other side of the elevator. Either one will cause the output, will cause the light to turn on in this case. So I hope that uh, helps you to better understand the basics. And then from here, we'll, we'll add more contacts in different configurations. Just basically this, but let's say we were to put a series contact here, that makes it more complicated, but it doesn't change the fact they would still have these two types of circuits in some kind of form. Uh, then also in additional lectures we're going to go through uh, relays and other components you typically find in an elevator or a deck lift. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.